students today we will discuss the concept of hashing so hashing basically is a data structure designed to use special function called hash function so what is hash function it is uh, generally we symbolize it with capital h and we will write as hx that is hash function so hash function is a function used to map a given value with a particular key for faster access of data elements so basically it means ke uh, we will having we will be having some data values data elements which will which will be stored at the some memory locations with the help of key so hash function basically convert the given value for a particular key so efficiency of mapping depend upon the efficiency of the hash function so so how efficiently we can map the given value to the um, uh, to to the given slot in the hash table that depend upon the type of the hash function we select we can select different types of hash functions for different data values so let hx be hx is the hash function which maps the value of x at index x modulo division to x modulo division 10 so this is the basically the hash function we have taken you can take any type of hash function like x modulo division 100 x modulo division 5 x modulo division 10 so whatever you want depending on the type of data so it will be more clear to you by by the example for example we want to store the values 11 12 13 14 and 15 so these are the data values which we want to store using this hashing technique so we will use the hash function hx is equal to x modulo division 10 so i have taken the hash hash function this hash function because my values are in two digit so it is 11 12 13 14 15 so i have taken x modulo division 10 so you can take any value so i will store these values at 10 memory locations so if i write the list of values are 11 12 13 14 15 and hash function is x dollar division 10 matlab x means the value to be stored first first it will be 11 will be x then 12 will be x and 13 and 14 and 15 first of all we take the first value that is 11 so 11 modulo division 10 it will, it will give you the value 1 because we will divide 11 by 10 the remainder is 1 so this 11 value will be stored at location 1 so whatever we get from this function x modulo division 10 that is a hash function this is called hash function so next we take the second value that is 12 so we will use it as x so 12 modulo division 10 it will give you the value answer as 2 it means the second value will be stored as second location similarly if i take 15 so it will be 15 modulo division 10 so which means which gives the answer as 5 so we will store that 15 value at fifth location so in this way this function tells us hash function tells us where to store the given value so we can store different values in this hash table the values uh, the different locations of this table are filled with the given values by this hash function and others can be written as nil so this this can be nil value or this can be nil so there is not any element stored here at this point so this is the basic concept of hashing so now you can define the hash function so hash function basically a function that convert a given value to a small practical integer value so hum, uh, uh, whatever the value we are given like 11 12 13 we will convert that to some practical integer value where it can be stored small practical integer value so the mapped integer value is used as index in hash table so uh, we use that value as index to store the given value so a good, good hash function is efficiently computable and should uniformly distribute the keys so so this is the properties of a good hash function because uh, it should be um, efficiently computable 
and it should distribute the all the values at different boxes at different locations so a good hash function should work in a way that there should not be collision of two values so second is the hash table so hash table is an array that stores the pointers to record correspond uh, to record corresponding to the given value so so hash table generally store the uh, what we have seen in the previous that hash table is store it it basically store the records corresponding to the given hash function so this table is called hash table so an entry in the hash table is nil so it will be nil if there is not a value to be stored at the index so that will that will remain as nil next is collision in hashing one of the main problem in hashing is collision collision occurs when two or more values are to be stored at the same index values so when whenever uh, our hash function says that uh, these two values will be stored at the same location so that is basically the collision so hash function gives us a small number for a given value x so sometimes more than two values map the same key sometimes it happened that more than two values are going to the same location same box or so same slot so that slot is already occupied by another number this is called collision so in we have collision kawange ya in we takkar kawange ke do values ikko thaan te ja rahi hain so for example assi ithe kuch values we have taken the values 11 12 13 14 15 and we will compute the hash table by using the same function that is x modulo division 10 so first value 11 11 modulo division 10 it will give us you give you 1 so <coughs> so it will be stored at first location second value is 12 so 12 modulo division 10 will give you 2 it will be second it will be stored at second location 13 Modulo division 10, it will give you 3, so it will be stored at this location. And similarly, the 22 modulo division 10, it will give you 2, so it will you, it will give you 2, so it will be stored at the second location. And second location already contains some value, so this is basically the collision. Here collision occur. So at this side, equal two values will occur. Collision will occur. So this is called collision. So similarly, if next we will compute 25, 25 modulo division 10, it will gives to the it it will give goes to this location. So 25 will be stored at this location. 25 modulo division 10 will gives us 5. So this is the basically collision. This is the problem of hash function. So how we can handle collision? There are some techniques to handle collision. so what are these techniques so first technique is chaining how we can handle we will make it a chain of different values if they are coming to the same point so chaining it is a method in this method each cell of the hash table point to a linked list of record that have the that have the same hash function value so if we are getting more than two hash function values for the data item these two data item it will be stored at the same location by using a linked list like shown here in this table so now we will store the same values 11 12 13 22 42 and 34 these values are to be stored using a hash function hx is equal to x modulo division 10 so these are the values left hand side the values of x these are the values we will use the hash function and we will try to store at different location you will see that 22 and 42 they are going to the same location 22 42 they are going to the same location where 12 is already stored so in this case here is collision of three values so we will store 12 at this location then next value will be stored in the same location by using linked list so we will use this as a linked list next value will be stored in the same column by using linked list and then there is 42 it will give it will also goes to same same location same slot it will be stored in the same slot by using an other node 
which is linked to 22 so this is a basically this is a linked list for this slot so we can store three different values at this slot using linked list and this process is called chaining this is called chaining technique and this is used to resolve the collision so advantage of this chaining are it is simple to implement just okay, you have to use the hash function as a and a linked list to store values then hash table never fills up so there is no problem that the hash table will get filled up less sensitive to hash function so it is not sensitive to hash function means okay both of work nahi bandega to si kise bhi tarah di hash function lai hove now disadvantages uh, there is some uh, wastage of space as some parts of the hash table are never used so some part of the hash table will remain empty so this is wastage of space require extra space for linked list so this linked list will require some extra space and if chain is long the searching is difficult if this chain goes long very long then the searching becomes difficult so this is the first technique of resolving collisions next technique is the open addressing technique so in this open addressing technique all the elements are stored in hash table itself so the size of the hash table must be greater than or equal to the number of keys so here uh, in open addressing there will not be a linked list like in the uh, in the previous uh, technique which is called chaining so we have to store all the values in the same table so open addressing can be done in following ways first is the linear probing so there are three techniques for open addressing first is the linear probing in this technique if the collision occurs then the linearly we we linearly probe for the next slot so we will find the next if the if if uh, there is some collision means two values are coming to the same slot then we will linearly probe the table and we will store that value in the next available slot so for example we want to store these values by using this hash function so similarly we will compute the different uh, 11 will be stored at location 1 12 <coughs> by this hash function at location 2 then 13 will be uh, stored at location 3 then 22 divided by 10 means 2 it was going going to be stored at location 2 and location 2 already contain the element so there is collision so we will go and find the next empty slot so next empty slot we have filled up to 13 so this is empty so 22 will not be stored at this point it will go to next empty slot this is empty slot so it will be stored at this next is 33 element it is going to be 33 divided by 10 it will be going to be stored at this location this is going to already contain the element so this will not be stored at this we will find the empty location next location is used then then after that this location is empty so this will be going to store at this point so linearly we move forward and find the empty empty, empty space then next element is 21 21 divided by 10 is equal to modulo division 10 equal to 1 it is going to be stored at 1 but 1 and, uh, already contain the element so there is collision we will find the next location is not empty next is not empty not empty not empty this location is empty so this is going to be stored at this location so this is the way of storing element using linear probing so it's also having a <coughs> problem that main disadvantage is clustering as the consecutive elements from the group and it is difficult to find free slot in the uh, to store the elements so because we are going to fill the table so it's very difficult or it takes uh, time to find the next empty slot while filling the elements so <coughs> after that there is an other technique that is called quadratic probing linear probing and quadratic probing so it is uh, similar to the linear probing but uh, the function to compute uh, the next uh, slot is different so it is it uses quadratic type equation so it operates by taking original it takes by uh, operates by taking the original hash hash index and adding successive values of a quadratic polynomial until open slot is found the sequence using quadratic probing is uh, hash function plus one square hash function plus 
टू स्केर हैश फंक्शन प्लस थ्री स्केर एंड सो ऑन अंटिल वी फाइंड द एम टी स्लॉट नाउ सी Uh, it helps to avoid clustering which occurs in linear probing so uh, the main problem of linear probing was the clustering means number of elements are placed nearby so uh, that was difficult to find the empty slot in this case if hx is full okay we compute the hash value and that is full then we check for hx plus 1 square we will look for the slot this if this is still full then we will check hx plus 2 the square if this is still full then we we will go to next hx plus 3 the square in this way we can find the empty slot so similarly next slot next technique is double hashing so double hashing is somewhat similar to the quadratic uh, hashing in this technique of collision resolution we use second hash function we use two hash functions uh when a collision occur if hx is full we find a location using hx that is full then we will check hx plus 1 into second hash function h2x we will find the location by this if this is this is still full then we we will check hx plus 2 into h2x and if this is still full then we will we will go to next that is hx plus 3 into h2x and so on until we find a empty location so these are the different techniques to uh solve the hashing or you, you can say these are different techniques to to eliminate the collision in hashing so the all these three techniques are under the open addressing and the first one was chaining is chaining and open addressing are two main techniques so chaining is a single technique and in open addressing there are three techniques linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing so thank you